If you're not careful, and you no-clip out of reality in the wrong areas, you'll end up in the back rooms, where it's nothing but the stink of old moist carpet, the madness of mono-yellow, the endless background noise of fluorescent lights at maximum hum-buzz, and approximately 600 million square miles of randomly segmented empty rooms to be trapped in. God save you if you hear something wandering around nearby, because it sure as hell has heard you. Survival Difficulty Class Zero Safe Secure Devoid of Entities Level Zero is the first level of the back rooms, and the first level many encounter. Description Level Zero is a nonlinear space, resembling the back rooms of a retail outlet. Similar to its previous form, all rooms in Level Zero appear uniform, and share superficial features such as yellowed wallpaper, damp carpet, and inconsistently placed fluorescent lighting. However, no two rooms within the level are identical. The installed lighting flickers inconsistently, and hums at a constant frequency. This buzzing is notably louder and more obtrusive than ordinary fluorescent humming, An examination of the fixtures to determine the source of the inconclusive. The substance saturated in the carpet cannot be consistently identified. It is not water, nor is it safe to consume. Traces of pleural fluid have been found in analysis. Linear space in level zero is altered drastically. It is possible to walk in a straight line and return to the starting point, and retracing your steps will result in a different set of rooms appearing than the ones already passed through. Due to this, and the visual similarity between rooms, consistent navigation is extremely difficult. Devices such as compasses and GPS locators fail to function within the level, and radio communications are distorted and unreliable. Level Zero is entirely still and devoid of life. Despite the fact that it is the primary interest of the back rooms, contact with other wanderers within the level has never been reported. Presumably, a great number of people have died before exiting, and most likely causes being dehydration, starvation, and psychological trauma due to sensory deprivation and isolation. However, no corpses have been reported from these hypothetical deaths. Attempts to enter Level Zero in a group will result in the separation of the group until the level is exited. Hallucinations are common in Level Zero, the most common being humming from the lighting increasing to a deafening volume, then abruptly silencing, the appearance of doors, the appearance of stairs, acute deja vu, human-like speech resembling no known language, movement and peripheral vision resembling insects crawling underneath the wallpaper, which disappears once the wall is observed directly, insect-like chittering. According to analysis, the CO2 levels within Level Zero are rising at a steady rate. The significance of this is unknown. Entities No entities are known to exist within the level, including other humans. If you see, hear, or encounter what you believe to be another wanderer, it is not a human. Entrances and Exits Entrances Accidental no-clipping out of the bounds of reality is the most consistent way of accessing Level Zero, and, by extension, the back rooms. See the basics of the back rooms guide for more information. The fortresses of level 283 rarely contain wooden doors that smell of mold. Entering these doors will lead to level zero. Exits Exiting level zero is only possible by no-clipping, which will always result in entry to level one. As newcomers to level zero are often unfamiliar with the mechanics of the back rooms, it is necessary to keep your bearings and adapt quickly to the environment in order to exit. Entrance to the Manila room is rare but possible by walking a great distance in any direction. Unlike Level Zero, wanderers can meet freely in the Manila Room, but the room is a dead end. Rather, it functions as a rendezvous room for wanderers who survived the trek. Additionally, documentation from the MEG can be found in the Manila Room, assisting newcomers in survival and escape. Instructions on how to no-clip can be found in 